To wirelessly connect your Windows laptop to your new active panel, what you want to do is be sure your active panel is turned on, and then tap the small little toolbar that shows right here, and select the Screen Share app. Selecting the Screen Share app will open the small window that shows your panel name along with the panel ID. The panel ID is what you're most interested in here because that's going to be the number that you're going to look for on your laptop to be able to connect wirelessly. So the panel ID here is 471486. Next, you want to go over to your laptop and hit the Windows key plus K at the same time. That'll bring up a side panel on the right of your device. Now, you'll notice a couple options here showing active panel and a couple other ones. You want to choose the one that matches your panel ID. So again, we're 471486. There it is at the top. Go ahead and select that. Once you get connected, you're going to want to be sure that that box is checked that says allow mouse, keyboard, touch, all of that, so that way you have touch screen when you're presenting wirelessly. You'll notice if you look at your active panel that your screen still isn't showing, that's normal. You have to just give it permission at this point. So the only thing that did change, you see a little one appearing down here. That shows that there's someone attempting to connect, which in this case should be you. You tap that and you'll see the name of the device or the user that is attempting to connect. And you can just simply just select that and then tap share down at the bottom or just tap it again and that'll work as well. As soon as you initiate the share, whatever is displayed on your laptop will then be displayed on the active panel. So just keep that in mind if you have anything open that you don't want students to see like email or something. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have it closed or minimized before you go ahead and present wirelessly. So there's my desktop and since I had that box checked I should be able to use touch screen and I can see that that's working. So that is how you connect wirelessly to your active panel from your device. Again it's Windows K and just keep an eye on your panel ID which again should be showing pretty clearly as long as you remember to open up screen share from the little app menu that appears at the bottom of your panel.